This is Fido OS. I have been trying to give this OS a try for a while, but I forget about it until YouTube suggested this video again. This video is from Alpha, the support guy for Fido OS. Check it out if you are interested in knowing more about Fido OS. He has more videos and he breaks things down and goes in details about the whole project. Fido OS is based on Chromium OS that some of you guys may already be familiar with. The ability to run Android applications on a Linux is made possible by using container technology to put Android in a box on a Linux distribution. As you can see here, you get the look and the feel of an Android system and the performance is pretty good, especially for browsing the internet or watching videos on YouTube up to 1080. Anything beyond that is not supported at this time. I even went ahead and tried to play some video games from Amazon Luna. Without hardware video decoding and encoding, I kinda knew what I was getting into but I thought I'd stress test the system and see if it would crash at some point. It didn't crash and I was not able to play any games but it was at least capable of launching the games. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Rod Labor Arena, the first round Okay, now let's go ahead and install Fido OS. As you can see, it says Fido OS for Raspberry Pi 400, but it also works for Raspberry Pi 4. So let's click and download it. Once downloaded, we will need to flash the image to a micro SD card or an SSD using Raspberry Pi Imager. Remove the card from the computer and insert it in the Raspberry Pi. You can connect to Wi Fi or Ethernet. Click Next. Agree. Create an account. I already created an account, so I am going to sign in. You can choose to use Fido OS account or Google. I prefer to sign in with my Google account. First thing I want to do is play a one minute video on YouTube and see how well it runs and watch for any frames dropping. <laughs> hey, put my hundred dollar here. Give me my, no, no, no. Give me my money back. <laughs> give, give me my money back. No, 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 my money. Your money. <laughs> give me my, no, no, no. Give me my money back. <laughs> give, give me my money back. No, 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 my money. Your money. <laughs> no, Sushi, you need the money. Give me the money. <laughs> give me the money. Give me the money. Sushi, give me the money. Give me, Sushi. It's not a joke anymore. Sushi. <laughs> sushi, it's not a joke anymore. It's like a hundred. A hundred. No, it's nasty. Give me the money. <laughs> no, no, no. No, give me. This is playing on 1080p and as you can see there is no freezing or buffering with only one frame drop during the entire video. Alright, moving on. Installing Google Play Store requires a little bit of patience. The first thing we need to do is click on this Android app in order to activate Fido OS Android subsystem. Click agree and click on launch. Next we need to go to store. As you can see, even without Google Play installed, we already have enough apps to get started. To install Google Play Store, you need to go to Added by Fido OS, click on Configure Open Gaps, Add to Fido OS, Add App. Open App, Agree, click Next, Install, Install, OK. 
This will take a good 20 minutes. If you do not resize the system partition in the SD card or the SSD, your installation will stop at this point and this is what you will see. And fortunately, it doesn't really tell you anything. The best way to resize the partition is by using Gparted in Twister or Raspberry Pi OS. This, of course, will require removing the microSD card with Fido OS in order to resize it. So I'm going to switch the SD card and insert one with Twister OS and put the SD card with Fido OS on a USB SD card adapter. If you are not familiar with Twister OS and you need to know how to install it, check one of my previous videos on Twister OS or click in the link up top. If you do not see Gparted installed already, simply open up terminal and type in sudo apt install Gparted and watch this demonstration on how to properly resize the partition. I am using a 15 GB SD card, so I'm just going to make that whole partition 12 GB instead of 3 GB. Now we need to go back and insert the resized micro SD card back into the Raspberry Pi and go back to configure open gaps. You may or may not get the same error message that I got here. If that is the case, just reinstall everything. If all goes well, you will be asked to reboot. Now if you try to log into Google Play Store, you will get this error message. The device isn't Play Protect certified. To resolve this issue, we will need to get on Google and search device ID APK and download the APK file and install it as you can see here. Next we need to copy this device ID and head over to this link to register our device. You will have to wait approximately 10 minutes for the registration to take effect and reboot. This is it for today. If you enjoyed this content, please subscribe. Thank you for watching. Catch you in the next video.